What exactly does an angry methanol injected 800 wheel horsepower Corvette Z06 sound like? The answer? Absolutely eardrum burstingly loud and angry. What's up, y'all? We are here to check out Taylor's new car. Taylor's a good buddy of mine, and he just purchased an absolutely insane 800 wheel horsepower 2006 Corvette Z06. He's taking delivery today. He purchased it sight unseen, and it should be here in a few minutes where we are going to check this thing out. What do you think, Tay? What's the first thoughts? She made her home. She made her. <laughs> Red underneath. Well, Tay gave her a first fire. This thing is absolutely mental. What a job going on. That thing sounds so nasty. Beautiful. Woo -hoo. Not bad. Hit it. He's got some shake to it. All right, Tay-Tay, you just made another amazingly poor financial decision. Walk me through it. What'd you do? So 2006 C6 Z06. It's a lot of sixes with, uh, going on. We got forged internals, crank connecting rods, diamond pistons. We're running 10 pounds of boost on the Pro Charger there. Running 100% meth. Doing 800 wheel horsepower. And we got a built transmission from RPM, the T6060. And uh, we got the bead locks on the back to make sure it hooks. This thing is so mean. I haven't even driven it yet, but uh, just sitting in it scares the out of me. You can see, we just had it running here. We just pulled it off the trailer. It's got a nice little twitch to it. Got a bit of lope going on. It probably doesn't register very well on camera, but when he read this thing, it feels like it's going to blow your freaking eardrums. Aftermarket steering wheel, okay. aftermarket seats. Everybody knows the stock ones are kind of, you know, they're meant for the average fat man. <laughs> yeah, so, I don't know, this one gives it a good feel from just backing it out of the trailer. <laughs> feel right at home when you get in. Now this thing is gorgeous. Yeah, these cars stock are so old man and built for a fridge to sit in and these things look so much better. You still got the paper on there. Diamond stitch floor mats, matching diamond stitch aftermarket seats with the Z06 embossed into the headrest. Got an aftermarket steering wheel, aftermarket shifter, of course the aftermarket deck, and it pulls together the interior very nicely. Taylor had a Z06 before and even in the last one, it was okay and it was nice to be in, but you could definitely feel it felt dated. This does not whatsoever. And this thing is seriously beautiful. It is wrapped in this gorgeous slate gray color over top of the original red. Taylor's even got the original headlights, which because it is a C6 vet, they came color matched. It appears to be in fantastic shape. 65,000 K on this thing. It's just beautiful. With the Z06, they dropped, I think, two or 300 pounds, and they added a few inches to the side because of the wire, wider wheels. Yeah, it really popped up. The stance up front is just beautiful. The fitment of these wheels is pretty fantastic, too. Like, they fit the arches very nicely. They come out to a very good spot. It doesn't look like you should have any issues with rubbing, and they maybe got a touch of camber, but it fits absolutely gorgeous. And of course, if we take a look, this thing has got super meaty tires on the rear, sitting on 305s, niddle triple five Rs to keep this thing stuck to the ground and not die. And of course it does have, these are not lookalikes, they are proper weld beadlocks, which I'm sure with something making this much power and as much torque as this is able to produce, with that beautiful centrifugal supercharger under the hood, this thing would be spinning tires on wheels without them. You can see the machining 
The craftsmanship on the wheels is so precise and beautiful. I can't remember if it was the ZR1 or the Z06, but uh, I remember Jay Leno talking about how the brakes were the same as the Enzo. And, and I quote him, not kind of the same or kind of close, like the same brakes. So taking a peek under the hood of this thing, this thing is seriously gorgeous and there is so much going on. This is not a stock VET whatsoever. The Z06 is already absolutely mental in stock form and this just takes it to another level. Of course, as you can see, the aftermarket fast 102 intake manifold with the matching 102 mil throttle body. This is a full, full built engine, full built bottom end, forged pistons, forged rods, forged crank, the whole kit and caboodle. And that is not even mentioning the beautiful Pro charger sitting on that side of the engine. You can even see the reducer to go into the Pro charger, how much air this thing has got to be moving. And one step further from that, it is also running on 100% methanol. This thing is producing around 800 wheel horsepower and it is going to be absolutely insane. This car is making about 250 more wheel horsepower than his last car that had a bunch of top end work and some other naturally aspirated goodies. This is a serious car that will really bite you in the ass if you're not careful and it is going to be an absolute blast. Let's take a little peek, we're gonna hop on in, try not to make Tay's new car a miss. This thing is so low. Gauge cluster is absolutely huge. You got that pilot type button set up on the two sides of the wheel that is so cool in these cars. Of course, the shifter has got about the shortest throws I've ever seen and the most positive engagement is absolutely nuts. We're gonna give this thing a little bit of a fire here. I don't know if you can pick out a corner somewhere, but this thing is just absolutely shaking. It just wants to go. Aftermarket head unit, aftermarket seats, it's a beautiful aftermarket steering wheel with the Alcantara on the sides and the leather wrap on the top and on the bottom. And you can even see, I don't know how well it will pick up on camera, but just like our M6 back at home, this thing has a heads up display that is projected on the windshield via that little box right there. Like the M6 and the Jag, we've got the black headliner that is absolutely gorgeous. This thing has actually got a ton of space on the inside. Like the amount of cargo room in one of these cars, I guess considering it is a two plus zero, you've just got an absolute ton of space. Taking a peek, this thing has even got a full camera system that is aftermarket, that is awesome. See, these cars, the visibility isn't that that great and it's very hard to see where your corners are at. So the previous owner on this car has actually installed cameras all around. So we have a left side on the left mirror, a rear camera, of course, a front camera, and then a right side camera as well on that mirror that make this thing way more pleasant, I'm sure, to drive in the tight circumstances and trying to get it parked in a tight parking space. I'm stoked for the opportunity that we will get eventually here to go for a drive. It is a little sunny outside, but it is nowhere near good enough weather to take this thing out and go for a little rip because it is absolutely terrifying, I'm sure, even in perfect circumstances, let alone when we are in the middle of Canadian winter and the roads are all icy and gross, but this thing is seriously, seriously menacing. Just a meth hungry, angry, angry, boosted vet. We were standing in front of the car earlier and you can give it a listen as he revved it up. This thing is just intaking an absolute insane amount of air. Like even without being under load, you can just hear that this thing is so air hungry, being a seven liter V8 and now it is pro charged. The amount of air that this thing feeds in and out is absolutely nuts. See, we've got proper Corvette yeah. foot attire. I haven't got my white <laughs> New Balances yet. Threw them out after the last Corvette left, eh? Feels gnarly inside, eh? Yeah, it's, that is a cockpit. That is not a That's driver's seat. That is a cockpit. So once you did all the work to the car. <laughs> that side profile. This thing looks so much prettier when it's outside and you can see it. Does, eh? Those front wheels, I don't know what it is about the machined finish, especially the fronts with those tiny spokes, but it just looks so good. See, proper air to air intercooler up front. We'll see, I'll walk you guys through. 
there's a massive, massive list of receipts sitting in the house that we'll go take a peek at after. But this thing is just so menacing. Like the wide stance does not come up on camera, but like you can see how massive these fender vents are to clear out air from the brakes and give a bit of ventilation back there. Got the hood scoop up front. Of course, got the aftermarket air ducting to feed the intercooler up front for that beautiful Pro Charger that's sitting under the hood. Well, first gen action. This thing is incredibly loud for having, like, having proper mufflers. Tay's matching E92 to our E90 sitting right over there. It's a little daily. I haven't talked about that at all on the channel, but it is indeed there. It's the old winter daily. Interior looks so much better in the sunlight too. No, nothing quite like an angry rear wheel drive meth head. So we're here taking a look at some of the receipts for this car. This thing has so much money invested in it. It is not even funny. There's tens of thousands of dollars and tons of goodies. This thing has got a full built engine. If we take a peek, this is all laid out here, including a new block. The engine actually blew and spun a rod bearing not too long ago. So Taylor is very fortunate. And this thing came to him with a brand new short block, including that forged crank, forged pistons and forged rods to make this thing super strong. We've got some of the other upgrades as well. Before this car was set up naturally aspirated, almost identical to his last one, with a full heads and cam package, long tube headers, and of course, all of the top end goodies that make it absolutely scream. And then on top of that, this one has been fitted up with the methanol injection system and the Pro Charger, pushing all of the insane power this thing makes. But this is the dyno chart from the first round of mods when the car was stock to when it got the cam and top end stuff done. Originally in bone stock configuration, this car made 448 horsepower and 429 foot-pounds of torque. And then after the cam and heads package with the long tube headers that this thing received, it was up to 553 and 514, which is already a very substantial gain on a car that is that fast. And then one step further going down, this is the most late dyno runs with the methanol and the supercharger installed. And you can see here it is making it made pretty much dead on the dot. At at 800 horsepower, seeing the highest runs at 796 horsepower and 662 pound feet of torque. That is absolutely mental and a ton, ton of power, especially in something rear wheel drive, which is exactly why it needs those massive beadlock welds with the huge Niddle 555R tires on the rear to keep that thing hopefully stuck to the ground and right side up. This thing is going to be an absolute beast on the streets. I can't wait to get a chance to go for a bit of a loop. Even the naturally aspirated car Taylor had before was absolutely insane. And I actually rode in it back to back on the same day with a Lamborghini Huracan. Vet definitely had more to give. That is Taylor's new Z06. This car is absolutely mental. I cannot wait to go for a bit of a loop, do a little comparing to the last Z06 he had that was still naturally aspirated, do some comparing to the absolutely ridiculous Jaguar that we've got, as well as the M6, Adam's M5, and all the other cool cars around. It's gonna be a blast to spend some time in. Thank you for joining along today. I really appreciate that you're here. Have yourselves a wonderful day, and I'll catch you in the next one.